ESA. This is Christine. Hey, tell me about the chemical process operator opportunities available in El Dorado. Kind of give me the rundown on what you got, if you would. So they just started running the standard lithium unit probably about a month and a half, maybe two months ago. From my understanding, it is becoming very successful. So what I was looking to do is to add more people to the shift and extend out the unit some more. So he's wanting to add six additional operators, probably hopefully hired on and out there by about the first or about the middle of May. That way, when June comes along, um, they're up and going. From my understanding, from what he told me, is right around June is when they're looking to have the extension kind of put on and have everything operational at that point. But then again, I mean, this is also contingent upon, you know, COVID and everything else that's going on. What they're wanting to do is just bring everyone in as an operator. So, so far from, you know, what I'm understanding is everything has taken off like they've anticipated. And as long as it continues to be successful, I, we all foresee, you know, them building that permanent plant. Month and a half, two months of it running, they're already looking to expand. I mean, there's got to be a lot pretty, of success at that point, you know? Yeah, that's pretty big. Now, the people that are successful candidates, what do they look like? The people that have... Uh, uh, I guess industrial experience of some sort. What do they What do they prefer? What do you think? What kind of experience so, works out best? We've got a variety of people out there right now. From what I've kind of gathered from is that he is looking for somebody with either mechanical background, extensive mechanical background, um, and or extensive plant experience, and or extensive managerial experience or supervisor experience. And the supervisor experience doesn't necessarily have to be like an industrial field. Because we've got one of the one of our employees out there right now who you know owned his own company but doesn't have an industrial background, but he's not afraid to pick up a broom or a mop or take out the trash or do whatever is necessary. Yeah. They really want people who honestly believe no job is beneath them and will work as a team to get something done and completed. Will do whatever is needed to make sure it is done. So that's kind of one of those. It's yeah. You can look off of experience starting off, but then more so what kind of feel we get from somebody when talking to them. Yeah. I'm sure you know from talking to people, you know which ones will and will not, you know, do the extra and go above and beyond. If they're hungry or not. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so you said by June, yeah, they have about a month. And what, what would they be, uh, an applicant, what would they be doing for the next month or so? They'd be obviously creating a profile right. and... Well, right now, doing? yeah, get on get on our profile uh, or update their application with us, and then you know keep checking in. So we're about to start presenting people to them. Hopefully, I'm gonna try to get that done this week. That's my goal. We Lindsay and I have several people that we're working on for them right now, but um, get them some people presented this week. Hopefully, is <laughs> looking at doing interviews within the next you know couple weeks, and then of course. I mean, May's kind of creeping up on us. We're at the very end of April at the moment. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said he's wanting people in there by May, so it's probably going to be about mid May before we're able to get them in there mid to end of May. But the I thing mean, is, the quicker, quicker they get their stuff in, the quicker they get in contact with us, and we can go over it and get them pushed through, the better. What is the orientation process? I know there's time with you. They spend four or five hours, but what do they do when they get out to the chemical plant? So there's a whole two-week orientation they go through with Ryan out there at the central plant. Um, and they go over everything, forklift, how to get in their system, how to, you know, clock in, how to clock out. I mean, it's a whole drawn-out two-week orientation. You know, some of it's more of a hands-on, some of it's more computer videos, tests. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff that they review over. And once they get out in the field, what is this? What does the shift look like? Do they have shifts or how's, what does the week look yeah, like? It's a 12-hour rotating shift, and you're going to get me to line to you if I tell you exactly. Well, I mean, so they have a 12-hour rotating schedule of some sort. Let me ask you this part. Is this, does the 12-hour rotating shift they work both graveyard and days? Yes. Yeah, okay. All right, so next few weeks trying to hire several people. You need to get them in this quick if they're interested because of the fact you want to, you want to go ahead and get them into the pipeline quick because they got a lot of stuff to do. It sounds like you get your hands full. Anyway. Hey, Christy, I appreciate your time. If you need me to give me a shout, I'll let you go, okay? Okay, thank you. Thanks, man. Goodbye.